Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with my second top 10. And uh, this time it's uh, Jurassic June. So I thought top 10 uh, properties I'd like to see uh, done with dinosaurs that isn't Jurassic Park. Uh, obviously, we want more Jurassic Park, but it seems like before Jurassic Park, we had tons of dinosaurs. Now, since Jurassic Park came out, everybody seems like they can't do dinosaurs, at least especially in the movie front. Uh, we get a little bit in like the King Kong movies, but there the dinosaurs are just mere fodder for Khan. I want to see them front and center. So I'm going to go through my list, starting at the, the least wanted and most wanted, and go through here. Number 10, Fast and Furious. Yeah, it's kind of a joke entry, but they've been joking about how they want to correlate with the Jurassic World franchise. And while I think that might be a little bit silly for the Jurassic World franchise, I don't think that Fast and Furious can't come up with a similar plot. Have a genetics facility creating dinosaurs and have them maybe shipping them across the border or something in South America, whatever the weird story. At this point, do the stories really matter that much in the Fast and Furious movies? I just want to see The Rock punch a rock uh, uh, a raptor in the nose I want to see um, uh, I want to see a car like jumping through the jaws of a t-rex just give me crazy dinosaurs and cars it, it, it'd be awesome number nine kind of continuing on with the joke thing here but uh, Transformers See, in Transformers, we have the Beast Wars versus the Predacons and the Animillions. It's been a while since I've watched that cartoon. But basically, you know, predatory things, a lot of them were very dinosaur-centric. And, uh, you know, Megatron was kind of like a, a T-Rex, that kind of thing. So looking at that, plus you have Dinobots, I want to see some big mech robot dinosaur battles um, those movies are really just uh, all flash but let's have some dinosaur flash okay number eight the valley of the Guanji Ganji probably butchering that name but anyways this is an older movie uh, really loved it, it was uh, you know kind of the the claymation stop-motion type stuff but it featured cowboys going you know finding this uh, prehistoric horse going to go find it and as they were doing that they're exposed to this uh, they go into this ridge area where dinosaurs still are now these kind of stories were really popular in the in the past going to the Amazon and finding dinosaurs that kind of stuff but it seems as modern technology that becomes less believable however my case in point is Cowboys and Aliens uh, the Harrison Ford movie and Daniel Craig that that movie to me is an amazing fun turn your brain off just cowboys and aliens so I say bring this movie back and it's cowboys and dinosaurs I mean why wouldn't you want cowboys and dinosaurs uh, it's just fun it doesn't have to make sense it doesn't have to be like oh in the year 2020 no go back put it in the back we're just doing old west make it be a sequel to, to cowboys and aliens bring bring daniel craig back to do it uh i think that'd be awesome uh but uh, just basically bringing that that property back uh number seven horizon zero dawn the video game made into a movie and why is this because i think the video game has such a rich and fascinating story the idea it's it's part Jurassic Park, part uh, Terminator, and uh, part uh, Mad Max. The idea that the apocalypse happened because of a robot overlord, but they were giant mechanized dinosaurs that basically wiped out the world. And you know you're fighting these things with bows and arrows. Uh, you know, learning and understanding your past, trying to take them down. You know. 
you know, brain prying antagonist is a you know female cave woman. It's just an awesome premise for a movie. Let's make it happen, Hollywood. Number six, Land of the Lost. Now, Land of the Lost, of course, there's some classic versions of this movie. There's been TV shows that were kind of campy but fun. And then recently they did a movie, but it was a comedy. Let's take it seriously. Let's make it like the next Jurassic Park. Land of the Lost, classic tale. On that same note, number five, Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is one of Jules Verne's best books. It's amazing. And there have been some classic renditions. And recently, we had a version, once again, a little campy, a little funny, and it's okay. But, what if we gave it the huge um, Hollywood treatment? Let's, let's make it like James Cameron's Avatar that level of graphics journey to the center of the earth like you never could believe bring Jules Verne to life how amazing would that be number four X-Men Savage Lands MCU you finally have the X-Men and you have the budget and the know-how to do this I want to see Wolverine grappling with some dinosaurs this is such a cool part of Marvel. Bring dinosaurs into the MCU. There's a whole, you know, uh, Sauron and all. Bring these characters in. Send our heroes down to the Savage Lands. Make that part of the MCU. That is one of my main gets that I want in the MCU. Especially as you're doing the X-Men. The X-Men has already done the big Phoenix art a couple of times. They've, they've, they've done Magneto a couple of times. Here's something else in the X-Men that hasn't been done that would be epic. Okay. Number three. I'm a Doctor Who fan. So Doctor Who's got to make this list. And the next few are going to be TV ones. But with Doctor Who, there's a couple of things. One, the um, I want to see a remaster of The Invasion of the Dinosaurs. It is an excellent story with excellent acting, and while a lot of money was spent on it, the special effects were, the studio was had by the company that they got to do it. It was bad by the standards of the day. So, uh, please never mind the background, as sirens always seem to go by any time I go to record. But, there's a fan edit that takes those silly dinosaurs out and puts newer dinosaurs in, but they keep it so that it looks like the time period. So it isn't like this super Jurassic Park CG dinosaur in, but more looks like if they had gotten the biggest budget at the time, so it looks the same color palette and all that. And they did just a few uh, minutes of the, of the thing. It would be amazing, because they were very ambitious when they did this, and when it epically failed, they pretty much avoided dinosaurs in the property altogether for a long time. How amazing would it be to go back and reproduce that as a DVD set or Blu-ray set uh, for classic Who fans? I think we'd all love it. Also, you've got the Silurians. We constantly, they, 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 you know, they're from the time period of dinosaurs and we constantly see the Doctor coming across them uh, when they come out of hibernation and they're a danger to humans. But you know what we haven't done? We haven't gone and back and seen them in their time. The Doctor has never gone and visited the Silurian Empire back in its heyday. When they could have a zoo that is basically Jurassic Park because those are the animals of the time period. How amazing would that be to go see the Doctor, go take back that... I think that would be an amazing episode. They certainly can do that now with the effects. They're easier. Number two, uh, Terra Nova. Terra Nova is one of those series that really suffered from being in the time period where 
TV could no longer, because of DVR, couldn't make the same amount of money. But streaming hadn't really taken off. And because of that, shows budgets were getting cut. Everybody was going to uh, reality TV. But it's an amazing premise. The idea that the Earth is ruined, so we're traveling to a parallel Earth that's still in uh, the Cretaceous period. That's an excellent premise for a show. Streaming services, one of you pick this up. If you bring in high budget dinosaurs in a TV show, like an eight episode miniseries or something like that, it's gonna get buzz. Us dinosaur fans, we're gonna be there to support it. With that one, the number one on the list is Primeval. This is another uh, British show, but this one uh, really, the idea of uh, kind of very Doctor Who-like, you know, Doctor Who has these uh, uh, rifts in space-time that aliens keep falling through to, uh, into Earth, but this one is an idea of a rift that allows dinosaurs to pass through into our modern day, constantly gives us an excuse to do episodes with dinosaurs and other um, uh, extinct species. It's a great premise, and it's something that is ripe to be brought back, whether it be on the big screen or the small screen. Definitely streaming could pick this up. It would be a strong show and uh, have a sci-fi show that has a lot of running. I think the BBC definitely could bring it back. I know they're having uh, Doctor Who has kind of been on the downturn. They may be looking for another uh, show to bring them up. Dinosaurs. Everybody loves to watch dinosaurs. And, uh, you know, it could be a Doctor Who and uh, uh, Primeval uh, uh, crossover, too. That would be epic. So, definitely want to see that. Now, secret number 11 is the Monsterverse. So, we've seen dinosaurs in King Kong and stuff. And one of the things that the Monsterverse has had trouble with is making the human characters overly... Uh, um, uh, likable or people to care about them. Let's have them now that we know about the Hall of Earth. Let's have a group of explorers go down into that. And of course, there's going to be lots of dinosaurs, among other things, and just have them going through on this expedition to learn things, maybe to learn what happened to Godzilla or Kong or something like of that matter. Um, and just it's it's an opportunity for them to do Jurassic Park type stuff of them going in and surviving dinosaurs and that's really what we want to see we want to see more of that on the big screen and they can put it in and give build some of these characters up that then appear in other MonsterVerse movies so uh, I think that would be an excellent um, show that could be done but like I said the MonsterVerse the dinosaurs are usually kind of on the little end of that so that's why it didn't make the list all right that's my list of non-jurassic park jurassic world uh movies and shows that i'd like to see so, uh, get made what are yours let me know down in the comments below